For me, it all started when I was a kid of seven or eight. Uh, would have been about 1979. Methven, you can find it on the map, is a little town at the bottom of Mount Hutt in New Zealand. My parents were teachers, but it was a farming community. And um, it's the kind of place where people remember the stuff you've done. I remember when I had... Uh, uh, I was going for a drive with a friend and I was going for a drive with a friend and I managed to um, flatten the car battery. The local um, nearest farmer helped me out. They, when there was a huge snow in Methven, the great snow, when uh, all the sheep were covered, people volunteered from the town, people who were not farmers. You know, my father was out on that farm digging out sheep. And that was remembered many, many years later. I wish to register my DC engine under your guarantee scheme. Davies Charlton engine handbook. A uh, couple of boxes for the Davies Charlton engines. These bottles are um, at least 30 years old and more like 40 to 50 years old. Uh, it's not going to open. What about this one? Okay, this one's opening, so we'll try this one first. Let's have a go. Now, fuel from 50 years ago, well, shouldn't work, should it? Really shouldn't work. Right, you guys feeling patient? We're going to try and start this engine. Uh, in my wife's lovely kitchen, but hey, she's a good girl. Two thousand years later. Okay, a little bit more.
Whew. All right, let's feel the um, how hot that is going. Whoa, yeah, that's too hot. Much, much too hot to touch. Um, wow. Okay, so fuel from, geez, the early 80s probably, late 70s. I mean, that's just crazy. That particular bottle may not have been the bottle that I opened a couple of months ago when I um, got this engine unseized and rebuilt it and got it going again. That was quite difficult to start. And you can see the bits of rust coming out of this old um, this old tank here as well, this old fuel tank, which I uh, found among the stuff. So, what a beast. And I used to throw these things at the sky. Uh, the, my neighbor, when I was eight, helped me build the old uh, balsa wood and tissue plane. This is it, what's left of it. Um, yeah, and free flight, no radio control. I'd just wander at someone's farm, have a look at the sky, fling this up in the air, and hope that a thermal wouldn't take it away. And sometimes it did. So there was a bit of cross country involved, a bit of um, a bit of cross country, a bit of chasing this, and hoping it didn't crash into somebody's window. There's a special something about uh, compression, compression engines. Instead of nitro engines, um, obviously you don't have to get that glow plug going, but um, I've always preferred these. It's what I started with and I'm quite emotionally attached to it, I guess. Now there's a very particular smell, castor oil and um, kerosene and the ether for easier starting off so much of that. But that's very volatile, that's the one that's likely faded away. So if we let that cool down before I have another go, maybe I'll try a different one of my um, ancient bottles of fuel here. Okay. It's a Davies Charlton made in the Isle of Man in the ooh, made in the Isle of Man probably early 60s. Late 60s. Thanks for watching.